In California, the Orange County Sheriff Deputies Union wanted a raise for their retirees. In order to get 90% of their salary at retirement, they pushed for a 3% increase of their benefit when they retired at age 50, up from 2%. Okay, nothing too extreme here, but then according to Supervisor John Morlock, they went too far. And they made that benefit retroactive to the date of hire. And, and we said, after I was elected supervisor, I said, look, that retroactive component is unconstitutional. That sudden retroactive bump has the potential to ruin municipalities like Orange County. When you have a fully funded pension, and you increase the benefit by 50 percent, you are now two-thirds funded. So overnight we, we created a massive debt that could not be paid in the year that you created the debt, which is contrary to what the state constitution wants you to do. So the county took the union to court to save themselves and other California municipalities under the same fiscal threat from these disastrous pension commitments. If we prevail, we'll help with this unsustainability problem. We could probably help a lot of municipalities unwind something that's, that's causing them to look at Chapter 9 bankruptcies in, in many cases. It's an issue that threatens the entire state of California. The problem that most everybody faces is that CalPERS, our largest pension system in, this, in the state and also the world, it just seems to have an arbitrary policy of allowing pension benefit enhancements to go retroactive which is kind of a, a, an odd kind of thing because it's not supported, I believe, uh, in the state constitution. So it, 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 could, it could touch on just about everybody just because of their, you know, sort of tradition. And what authority does uh, CalPERS have to make decisions like that? Well, CalPERS is, one, really big. <laughs> Two, it's dominated by public employee union representatives. Two-thirds of the board are union members who are either elected or appointed. What's wrong with an agency in California, executive branch, consisting of mostly strong union advocates? Apparently, they're the main funding source for entire political parties. Uh, the public employee unions are sort of the ATM for the Democratic Party. And so you, you've, you've, in a sense, in Sacramento, have two parties, the Republican Party and the Labor Party, and Labor is running Sacramento. What's wrong with strong union advocates running state government? Supervisor Morlock suggests California can serve as the poster child showing what happens. We are the 50th out of 50 states in credit ratings. We just bumped Louisiana out of 50th, and we're in 50th now. We're we're, we're traded on the credit swap market with countries. We're in the top 10 of, of, of countries liable to go bankrupt. I mean, California is broke. Like an avalanche starting as silently as a whisper, high at the top of a mountain, California's financial disaster is just beginning to roll downhill, picking up momentum. The entire city of Maywood just disappeared under an avalanche of red ink last week. Maywood is uh, just a tip of the iceberg. Uh, Victorville has already gotten a going concern audit opinion, which means the CPA said you may not last a year. Uh, LA, uh, city of LA, has been in national news with their even their controller on the TV saying, you know, we may run out of cash. You're going to see a lot of this just popping up, and and when it starts, it'll it'll go fast. It'll it, it'll be, you know, right now we're all kind of hanging on. <laughs> but some things are going to start popping really soon. So what's the answer? According to Supervisor Morlock, stand up to the unions. We need to put the numbers in front of the unions and say, look, if we don't do something to roll back these pensions, then we will not have money for raises for your members for a good five to ten years. Supervisor Morlock thinks unions may be seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and it's approaching like a freight train. So there, there is a climate now, Leslie, where the unions are saying, you know, we've seen what happened to steel companies, and we've seen what's happened to some of the airlines. Uh, you know, if you don't keep your employer intact, you don't get the full retirement. Supervisor Morlock says union folks deceived the legislature to get their expanded benefits. 
Uh, again, going back to CalPERS, CalPERS does not have an outside actuary. They have internal actuaries, and those actuaries stated to the legislature that, that going from 2% at 50 to 3% at 50 wouldn't cost them anything. In fact, it might even save them money. That's a crime. That's, that's obfuscating the truth. While he's going to court to save Orange County, what does he recommend to save the state of California? Have Arnold create one more commission, because he creates commissions, you know, like the, the blow up the box commission and, you know, <laughs> and all they do is prevent nicely, they prepare nicely bound books, books and then they sit on the shelf. We haven't blown up one box. But the next commission he has to set up before he leaves is the ability to uh, uh, put ourselves in receivership. And some adults have to run the checkbook of the state that are immune from special interests, unions, others, and they just run the finances. And he suggests the same responsible course of action needs to be applied to the federal government as well. well knock it off. You don't spend a trillion dollars to stimulate the economy. You know, <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, you know, let's, let's, let's buckle up. Let's balance this budget. Let's get, you know, in tune with how finances work because technically you are federal government, you are already broke. And in fact, uh, the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament says that the borrower is a slave to the lender. A and we are borrowers. Our deficit is, is in the trillions, but who owns our debt? China, the Middle East. And we were slaves to China. I. I I'm just a, I just didn't think I'd be living in an era where this country and this society would get so whacked. So I'd be there saying, what can we do to reduce your size, live within your means, start paying down this debt, and take control of this country? Because we'll never have to be invaded at the rate you're going. <laughs> so figure it out. The problem lies with the kind of people that we elect to office. So we have individuals who maybe should have known better, but they kind of say, hey, government's always there. And we can always raise taxes to pay for these things. And besides, we'll probably be gone by the time this really starts to manifest itself. We want to know what you, the viewers, think. Please respond to our survey and be sure to leave your comments below. Number one. Do you think that the unions have too much power affecting our government? Yes or no? Number two, do you think that the unions have gone too far, doing a disservice to their members? Yes or no? And number three, do you think California should put itself into receivership to get control of its fiscal situation? Yes or no? Full Disclosure is planning to interview union representatives to present their point of view in the near future. Please be sure to leave your comments below. Thank you. I'm Leslie Dutton.